And in the studio with us is Mr. Suresh Malik, Vice President and Managing Director of International Swerdrop Civil, who came into India along with the entourage accompanying Mr. Bill Clinton. The company belongs to the Jacobs Engineering Group. It is a consultancy firm in the field of infrastructure, process industry and fertilizer. So, uh, quite a relief actually not to see a dot-com person sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Any dot-com plans? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I think what we do is good enough, you know. <laughs> And I think it's most needed in India. So, what have you, have you come to India with an agenda? Do you hope to also? Is it just is it just a, a trip to? Is it a is it a survey trip? Are you looking to strike some deals? What is the? No, the thing is, we actually are in India. We, you know, came here a long time back mm -hmm. when Jacob uh, took over Henry Glasgow, okay. which is called Jacob H and G now. And uh, we've been working uh, with a lot of uh, Indian industrialists uh, like Oswal. Uh, we have worked with Siba. We have worked with uh, Reliance. We worked with many, many others, but uh, recently, as uh, you know, about two years ago, when uh, Swedrup was taken over by Jacob about a year ago, we had started uh, investigations here into the infrastructure market, okay. which is uh, your roads, bridges, uh, highways, harbors, uh, airports, and water, wastewater, and environmental. Type Are there any projects. concrete deals you plan to sign this time? Yes, we have. No. No, not really, but we are already working on okay. some projects. Uh, we're working on the world, very prestigious project in Mumbai. Which one is that's that? That's uh, Wurli Bandra. Okay. Bridge it's project. A, it's, a, okay. it's a ceiling. It's a ceiling. Okay. And that's uh, crossing the, you know, Mahim Bay. And that's a very large project. And uh, we were awarded that project uh, about, uh, about a year ago. And the most of the design has been done, construction, and part of it has started. There were some environmental problems that are hoping to be solved soon. We have a very large contract in Madhya Pradesh where we're working on strengthening of the roads for the PWD there. We have uh, worked on the National Highway 2 in Kanpur area. We have recently won a construction supervision project for large road projects in Hyderabad, I mean okay. the Andhra. Andhra, okay. And we also yeah. have a project in Kambatur, which is water wastewater project. Our agenda is basically to get more into it because we are a very large company with about 27,000 people. Okay, Mr. Malik, we've got to go for a break. We'll come back and ask you what to think of the state of the projects sure. after the break. We'll come back sure. in a very short while. Welcome back. Uh, with us in the studio, Mr. Suresh Malik, Vice President and Managing Director International of Swerdrop Civil, part of the Jacobs Group. He has come to India along with the entourage of U.S. Uh, the business entourage accompanying President Bill Clinton. Uh, Mr. Malik, you were telling us you go around the world looking at projects like this. How is India any different from today what it was eight years ago? How is it different from other areas, other countries in the region? How much further do we have to go? I think uh, India is uh, doing pretty well. All uh, I think they need to do is uh, hurry up and do things. You know, it takes a little too long uh, to get to the CN. You know, the contracts, uh, you know, takes, you know, long time. And by the time those contracts are signed, sometimes what happens is that the people uh, are what we want to bring here that we have to put on some of the projects. So it's a little slower. But are you seeing some kind of a changing in mindset? For instance, uh, Indians uh, in generally don't want to pay for the kind of infrastructure they use. So, for instance, toll roads, the links that you are making between uh, Mahim and Bandra, you say, that obviously will be a toll link. That's right. So, uh, is there some kind of a hesitancy? Uh, and does that impact on your projects? That's uh, very true, you know. I think uh, people are ready. People want service. That's what they're looking for. They value the time now. Before, you know, I'm from India. Myself, you know, I know time was not much of a value a long time back. But I think people now do value their time. Uh, we had a survey done on even on the Urli Bandra project, uh, you know, what will you pay if we save you 20 minutes of your time on this trip, you know. So people do value time now, and that's good for the country. But is it valued enough to make such projects break even? And you also want to pay some political opposition, because even if your users are willing to pay for the time, there, there are others who will say, no, they're not willing to pay for the time. That's very true. That's very true, you know, but I think uh, things are changing a lot. You know, they had a problem in Maharashtra where, you know, some toll was put in and that was taken off. Then the courts went back and decided that the state, you know, that the MSRDC, who was the people who did all the flyovers in Mumbai, that they are authorized to charge toll. So I think the courts are also helping, and I think uh, the legislatures uh, that are coming up, you know, in different parts of the, of the different states, you know, 
I think are really going in the right direction. Mr. Malik, you said that you were a bit uh, worried about the time it takes, but uh, given the fact that India is, especially uh, any road project uh, involves a lot of displacement of people, do you think, and given India's history of democracy, uh, could you have expected it to grow any faster or go any faster? No, I'm not saying. I'm saying design-wise, yes, it'll take longer. I'm not trying to say that. Environmental clearances have to be taken. Resettlements have to be done. I have no problem with that. What I'm trying to say is, you know, it takes a little longer for the client to award you the contract. And that time can be shortened, you know. Okay. And this case, in this case, the, uh, the client is normally the government? It's uh, normally the government, you know. So uh, would it be better if the government says that, okay, let's give everything to the private sector and then the private sector again goes and looks for uh, uh, a sort of a, uh, other people like yours from the international uh, scenario? Oh, I, I think so. But I think even there are some changes already happening. Like uh, I was talking with MSRDC, it took them only two weeks to sign the contract. So those kind of things have happened in all the departments, you know, I you think it will be wonderful. <laughs> Mr. Malik, thank you so much for joining us today on yeah. India Market Wrap. Thank and, you uh, again. Mahindra, Mahindra.